Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to this week's digital newsletter. Hope you're all well. Hope you've had a good week. As always, we've had a busy week here in the Academy. Lots of things to share with you. Lots of pictures for you to enjoy. Um, first of all, we're going to start with the uh, the very last day of the half term before the holidays. We had our careers day. Um, this was a massive success. The children really enjoyed talking to all the different representatives from different jobs, different careers. Get very hands-on with some of them. Particularly love the electrician in there. Um, so if you haven't already, please do speak to your children about that day um, they seem to ask some fantastic questions they seem to get an awful lot out of that day um, so please do chat to them about that and enjoy looking at the photos of that um, it's also been black history week this week um, so the children have been learning about some really important events um, such as the rosa park story and all sorts of different things so again enjoy reading about that looking at photos of that and talking to your children um, our year threes had their Greek workshop this week as well. We had some special visitors in sort of bringing their Greek topic to life. So again, lots of pictures for you to enjoy about that event. Um, next week, there are lots of things going on again next week. It's, it's a real busy part of term at the moment. Um, you've all had your letters about parents' evening, so just a reminder about that. Uh, Monday is year four parents' evening, Tuesday year six parents' evening, Wednesday year three parents' evening, and Friday year five parents' evening. Um, so if you haven't already, please do send your slips in as soon as possible um, or give us a call so that you can get your slot booked in. Um, and we look forward to seeing you then where we can give a review of how your child's getting on with their new class teacher um, their progress and how we can work together to support them. Um, next week we also have Diwali Day. Um, we, again, we've got some external people coming in, some experts in the field um, to do some workshops with the children. We're going to have a whole school assembly and then they're going to do some work in classrooms and then with the experts in the hall. So they should enjoy that and get lots out of that day. Um, we've also got our big theatre workshop on Tuesday. This year it is St Sword in the Stone. Um, so children will be treated to the theatre production. They'll learn some songs um, and enjoy the production and do some working class about that on Tuesday. So lots and lots of different things going on next week. Um, just while I was talking about supporting children, we have... Um, some questionnaires going out this week about maths. This is in a response to some parents talking to us about ways in which they can support their children in maths. Um, and some parents saying that they're struggling, obviously, with the different methods that we use in school today compared to when some parents were at school. So what Mr Ferry has done is he's put out a questionnaire for you to fill in if you would be interested um, in some support in helping your child with maths. So he's just asked a variety of questions about what you would like, what you would need, which areas you think would be most useful. Um, and then we're going to put on some workshops for you to come in and to have a look at the methods that we use in school today um, that would hopefully be helpful for you. Um, we've also sent home, um, some are coming tonight, some already came out last night, some power maths books um, that your child is bringing home, some big thick textbooks. Don't worry, this is no um, big enormous project of homework, they don't all have to bring them back next week or anything. Um, these are just books that are no longer used in school that we thought might really support the children, just with extra practice. Um, so there's all sorts of different topics that the children have already covered this half term that they can do some extra work on if they so wish. Okay, that they don't have to use them at all, um, but they're there to support if you, um, if you would like some extra practice for your child. Um, other messages that I have, um, it is children in need, I'm sure you've seen on the newsletter the last few weeks a warning that this is coming up. So Friday the 18th of November and this year it is all about being spotty. Um, so the children are allowed to come in anything at all that day um, which involves spots. Okay, So they can wear normal bottom halves if they want to, if they've got a spotty top that's great. Um, so anything at all involving spots, that's the theme for this year. Um, we are also um, raising money for the Poppy Appeal at the moment. Thank you to our student governors. They've been really busy selling those every single day and all the different gadgets and things that they get with the Poppies this year. Um, that will continue next week. So if you want to send your child um, with a little bit of money, they're free to buy Poppies all of next week. So thank you to the governors for sorting that. Um, and last of all, just to say, have a great weekend um, and obviously enjoy bonfire night tomorrow night or whether you're starting that tonight. The children have done some work with the fire service in school um, and I've also spoke to them in assembly as well about keeping safe. So I hope everyone has a very safe but a very enjoyable weekend with bonfire. OK, thanks everyone. Bye bye.